Hello guys, this is CrazyMan7777 here with another Hail Mega Box review for you guys. This is the Banshee Strike set, not to be confused with another Banshee Strike set. Um, this one comes with the Halo 5 Requisition Pack, uh, the basic Requisition Pack that you can use in Halo 5 to give you skins and all kinds of other stuff. I don't even know what's in it, but Hail Mega Box is giving them out in sets every once in a while, so just look out for um, this st specific sticker and you'll be good. Hopefully you don't knock over your own banshee in your own video. So this specific set isn't really, um, it's not really that large of a set. It's kind of expensive for how many pieces are in it. It's 20 bucks for the requisition pack, this, and then the figure that comes in the set, which I will provide you right here. It's kind of expensive, uh, I would say, unless you don't have, like, uh, unless you don't already have any of these things that are in the set, then it might not be. Like, I bought this set twice now, because whenever there's a Hey, Omega Blocks Banshee that comes out, you always have to buy two. Otherwise, you are usually going to be very disappointed with yourself because you did not buy two. Last time there was a Banshee Strike set, I was disappointed with myself because I only bought one. And now I only have one Halo Reach Space Banshee. But I have two Halo Wars Banshees and two Halo 5 Banshees. And, of course... Halo 5 Banshee that I refer to is this one. And it actually is a little bit different than last Banshees that we've seen. It's a little bit more chunky and angu and less angular. Um, it's very rounded and plump and stuff. Kind of weird descriptions for a Banshee, I know, but that's really the way it looks. And we do actually have thrusters that move back and forth back here, which are actually just energy storage, which is something that Alex 527 commented on last time he saw it. And then these both move up and down. Not going to mess with both of them at the same time. Light screwed up. Of course, we have the uh, shots right there. There doesn't really seem to be it in the area designated to Banshee Bombs. I'm kind of interested in that. Um, maybe a clue to Halo 5 not having Banshee Bombs on the Banshees. That would really suck, but really this Banshee doesn't look very much like a Halo Banshee at all. It kind of looks weird. It doesn't quite look like a Banshee. Which is, of course, what Halo 5 is apparently all about. Things that don't look like Halo, but 343 says that they're Halo. It's my favorite. And of course, we have the Superposable Elite. Um, Superposable Elite, I've already pretty much gone over whatever you guys need to know about that. And the first uh, video that I got, Superposable Elite. But just in case, Superposable Elites are significantly taller, um, or at least can be significantly taller than regular elites and regular Spartans, as well as the superposable Spartans. Um, they happen to have difficulty fitting in most Covenant vehicles now, because, uh, except for the Ghost, because they are superposable figures and they are huge compared to the regular figures. They do have a peg in the back of them to put your weapons, even though I've literally never used that peg on Elise. Um, they, this particular one comes with a needler, and that is a Halo Reach needler, of course, because Halo Reach had the best co and coolest needler, but Halo 5 decided to steal it, just like Halo 4 decided to steal it. And of course, this is a Storm Elite Miner, I believe. Um, there is, like, no difference in Halo 4 
between the elites, except for their color, and they don't act any different, so there's not really any point of giving a crap, but, uh, if you really do give a crap, this is probably going to be either a minor or something else. I thought blue was a minor, but I have no idea. Halo 4 is just confusing. Um, there's not really much going on with this figure, pretty much. And then, look at, and so there's a little stand. This is kind of a tricky stand. You stick it in this area right here, and you just let it sit on there. It actually works pretty well, but it does kind of slide around if you don't do it right. Alright, and then we have these things. I don't even know what these are. These just look really stupid, and I really hope that they're not in the Halo, a Halo 5. Some people have suggested to me that the reason why they're there is because they hold up the Banshee. But that doesn't really work because the wings already hold up the Banshee. Um, I don't really understand those at all. Then, of course, we have inside of the vehicle, which is fairly nice. Little steering mechanisms, all that good stuff. That's pretty much it. So. This set, I'm going to give like a 3 out of 5, because it doesn't really deserve to be out of a 10, because it really isn't that big of a set. This set really is just like only a little bit more pieces than a mongoose set, and I counted that out. It's kind of annoying. Um, I would say that this set is, like I said, 3 out of 5, because firstly... I still haven't seen anything from Halo Mega Blocks in superposable form that isn't from Halo 5 or Halo Reach. And I want to see more Halo Reach, so this kind of sucks. I was really hoping when I saw that they were making another Banshee for this to be a Halo Reach Banshee because those actually look cool and this kind of just looks like crap. I really am just disappointed in this overall. I mean, it's kind of a cool looking Banshee, but it doesn't really look that much like a Halo Banshee anymore. Just like everything else in Halo 5. It doesn't really look like anything from Halo. It makes me sad. It makes me not want to buy more Halo 5 crap. But of course I'm going to buy all of it. And not the game. I mean, the Halo Mega Block stuff. So I'll see you guys next time. Kind of depressing a little bit. Maybe.